Thank you very much for your work, Dr. Craig. I was wondering if there was absolutely no expectation of a resurrection of a first century Jew inventing a resurrection, why did the Pharisees put a guard at the tomb because, to keep the disciples out? That is one of the main objections to the historicity of Matthew's story. And you notice that that story didn't play any part in the case that I built tonight. Uh, most scholars don't accept the historicity of the guard story. But what is important about the guard story, I think for our purposes, is that closing comment that Matthew makes, this has been spread among the Jews to this day. It shows that Matthew is telling this guard story in order to refute this uh, widespread Jewish allegation that um, the disciples had come and stolen away the body of Jesus, and that's why the tomb was empty. It wasn't the resurrection, it was, it was body snatching. And so that's the really important historical nugget to take out of the guard story and why nothing in the case that I presented tonight presupposes the historicity of the guard story. Now, if you were to try to defend the historicity of the guard story, I think you would probably say, of course, the um, Jewish leaders themselves didn't believe that Jesus was going to rise from the dead. But they may have heard that he predicted such a thing from Judas, who betrayed Jesus and whom they had hired to uh, hand him over. Uh, they may have feared that there would be some sort of a uh, an event there, and so they wanted a guard place to prevent anything like that. We don't know. But the important thing is that it plays no role in the uh, case for the historicity of the resurrection of Jesus. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh.